You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Folks, uh, Republicans, uh, white Republicans are still doing their best to try to act as if that was just a picnic taking place on that day. Listen to this comment that, that Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson made to uh, conservative radio talk show host Joe Pagliarulo. Listen to this, folks. I'm also criticized because I've made the comment that on January 6th, I never felt threatened because I didn't. And mainly because I knew that even though those thousands of people that, that were uh, marching to the Capitol yeah. were trying to pressure people like me to vote the way they wanted me to vote, I knew those are people that love this country, that uh, truly respect law enforcement, would never do anything to, to break a law. And so I wasn't concerned. Now, had the tables been turned, Joe, this could be in trouble. Had the tables been turned and President Trump won the election, and those were tens of thousands of Black Lives Matter and Antifa protesters, I might have been a little concerned. Wow. Let's face it's, it's, a, it's a big statement, but you know, it's a true statement. We see the, the recent history. Big statement, true statement. Joining me right now is Congresswoman Gwen Moore of Wisconsin. Uh, Congresswoman, welcome back to Roller Martin Filter. Thank you so much, Roland and Dr. Malvo. I tell you, this is when I missed being in person, when I'm with folk like you. <laughs> uh, well, well, hopefully we'll get... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully we'll get there soon. I had my first Moderna shot on Friday. Uh, next one is April uh, 9th. And so hopefully uh, in a few months, uh, we can be back to uh, being uh, in person. Uh, give us your thoughts on this unbelievable comment made by Senator Ron Johnson. Uh, he's been blasted all weekend. Folks saying his vice supremacist views are, are coming standing up. I mean, here is somebody who supposedly, supposedly was moderate voice or whatever, but he is absolutely uh, a, a hardcore Trumper with this nonsense, and he would have been scared on, uh, if it was Black Lives Matter and Antifa. <laughs> First of all, as if those two go together, these people killed the cop. These, these people, I mean, they actually they trampled one woman to death. It led to one, one, of the, one of the fellow uh, rioters getting shot and killed. Five people died. What the hell is your senator talking about? Well, you know, uh, you know our uh, ancestor at this point, Maya Angelou's birthday is going to be Easter Sunday. And, and, and her words keep coming to me. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. And, you know, Ron Johnson didn't just start being like this. You know, uh, Ron Johnson was in deep denial about the president's uh, and his corruption, denial about the uh, about the uh, the the riot, the incitement, and and how you know he said, oh, as far as he was concerned, it didn't really fit the definition of an insurrection. Uh, he's someone that was pushing these conspiracy theories. I mean, to this day, he still was engaged and involved in denying that the election was a legitimate exercise in, in our democracy. And so, um, you know, maybe he's not planning to run again, or maybe <clears throat> he's trying to take advantage of the fact that Joe Biden uh, just barely won the state of Wisconsin is trying to inher inherit that base uh, of hardcore uh, uh, white supremacists. Uh, because uh, his statement certainly has galvanized uh, the emotions. I mean, these cultural wars, this is their go-to position, Roland. Think yeah. about it. If you're a Trumpster, you're, when, when, when you voted against giving people $1,400 a month, when you voted against helping poor farmers in Wisconsin, this is an agricultural state, by the way, uh, debt relief that they desperately needed. You know, when you deny aid to restaurant and bar businesses that are barely hanging on to their chinny chin chins, you got to come up with something. And so these cultural wars work very, very well. Well, you talk about those cultural wars working very, very well, but, but, but um, what you have here, again, is this trendy position that Black Lives Matter was somehow... Oh my God, these people are violent and crazy. And you're sitting going, and maybe Senator Johnson, you're saying that because 
You're a white Republican, okay, who sides with them. But these people were hell-bent to kill. That was their strategy. They were hell-bent to kill. And the FBI is arresting numerous folks constantly for what they were trying to do. I mean, this is like, what, what world is this guy living in? He wasn't afraid. And they had Kevin McCarthy out there. I mean, this isn't the first time that a minority leader was murdered right there in that storied building. And they were pounding on Kevin McCarthy's door trying to get in while he called the president. And that was when he made the snarky remark, well, Kevin, you know, apparently you're not as worried uh, about the election as they are. You know, he was, he was tracking down his vice president next in line for the succession with a noose. And, you know, the, the, the noose just brings, it strikes terror uh, 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 in my mind as an African-American. They had a noose chanting, hang Mike Pence. They were looking for Nancy Pelosi. Uh, and so uh, uh, he was not frightened by his kindred spirits. Um, but he would have been intimidated by, I mean, there were 10,000 or more protests. And like I said, the, these protests garnered the support of, of people from every race, every age group, every state. It became a global initiative after George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. I mean, all these people were who were storming the Capitol. They were not Antifa. They were not Black uh, Lives Matter. They were stone cold white supremacists, folk walking around with Nazi uh, 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 apparel, uh, a Confederate flag. Uh, and he was not afraid among his brethren. What, um, what are black folks there in Wisconsin? How are they responding uh, to Senator Ron Johnson? He's up for re-election next year. Uh, I've made it perfectly clear. We're going to spend some time there. Uh, because folks like him to be thrown smooth the hell out of office. It, it, thank you so much, Roland. Thank you. And I'm going to hold you to that, to come on to the Milky Way, because we're going to need it. I mean, this is a, a swing state. Uh, we have some of the worst conditions for African-Americans in the country here. Those, those data get buried underneath the fact that, you know, we're not Mississippi or Alabama or somewhere with large numbers of African-Americans. But per capita, we have the most incarcerated African-Americans, most uh, redlined, uh, uh, least a home ownership, worst place in the country for black children. So many indicators, uh, so much of the misery index. And, and the last thing we need is a senator uh, who uh, wants to cast fear and apprehension and doubt into the minds of Americans about the worthiness of African-Americans. And so, come on, we have a very uh, bright group of, of Democrats forming a Democratic primary. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ron Johnson decides to run, that there wouldn't be somebody, uh, you know, uh, uh, among Republicans who would challenge him because he is out to lunch. Well, and out uh, of he well, he gave also indication that he may not even uh, seek re-election. Either way, uh, Senator Johnson, uh, a bullseye is on your back in terms of taking you out for re-election. Bye, Senator Johnson. That's what Bye. It down to. Uh, Bye. It, 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 it's time to go, <laughs> and so this is where black this is where black votes are going to be critical uh, there in Wisconsin, uh, and with the white folks in Wisconsin step up as well. So, Congresswoman Gwen Moore, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Um, Avis, I'm going to start with you here. Uh, you, your, your thoughts on, on these comments, uh, what he said, and again, what he's basically saying is, oh, yeah, I was, if those black people have come, I would have been scared to death, but I was with my white brethren and the Trumpers, and I was safe and comfy. The man's a liar. Um, you know, wasn't it just a couple of weeks ago when he was trying to sell the lie that it was actually Antifa that raided the Capitol? I mean, he, he, so... You know, clearly he lied there. Here, he's, you know, he may or may not be lying, but the reality here is that he is definitely trying to appeal to the white supremacist base of the Republican Party of what is the Republican Party right now. And so, you know, it's really interesting how right now uh, you, people have gotten so used to being so flagrant uh, with their racism. And the fact that with this particular Republican Party, 
uh, it's actually used as an asset because they know that that is now the base, the core. Um, the, the the new Republican Party is the Trump Republican Party, which is the white supremacist, white nationalist, uh, redneck Republican Party. That's who he was talking to. And the fact that he would sit there and say, you know, these people uh, aren't criminals and they wouldn't, um, you know, they love the country uh, was especially ridiculous, given the fact, as you pointed out, they murdered, uh, they maimed, uh, they actually were in the process of a lynch mob. Uh, you know, th the only other thing I would do, quite frankly, um, if I was in Congress right now, if he's going to make statements like that, then he needs to honestly be investigated to see if he was in some level of collusion with these people, because we know that they did have inside help. In fact, I believe that they had inside help not only from Capitol Police, but also from some Congress people. So to me, uh, you know, I'm really wondering why some of the Democrats uh, uh, don't start to open up some investigations on their colleagues who are clearly in cahoots uh, with these individuals who put all of their lives in danger. All right, folks, back to our Roadmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.